like Hanox. We gather in church and we don't understand that God is purging his house. And then the pastor comes, all he's talking about is what to do to prosper. You don't know what prosperity is. He said, I wish above all things that thou mightest prosper and be in health even as your soul prospereth. So if your soul does not prosper with God, you are a poor man as far as God is concerned. It's a time to cry. It is for this reason that God raises prayer. Men that can cry against the status quo. The whole Sahentry could not discern the proof of God. Jesus can walk for many years. They could not discern him until he called his apostle. He said, who do men say I, the son of man, I am? And they brought the testimony of the Sanhedrin to him. They said, some say you are Jeremiah. Some say you are Isaiah. Some say you are one of the prophets. So a whole generation could not discern the move of God. All of them put together were wrong. Who do men say, I, the son of man, I am? Nobody knew the answer in a whole generation. All of them reciters of the Torah. All of them readers of the laws of Moses. Who do men say, I am not one man on earth knew? I tell you, if we cannot discern the move of God, then the whole generation can be lost. Your prayer, your fasting, all put together, you can be wrong unless you discern. Because that is what will inform the quality of your life, the texture of your life, and everything you commit yourself to, it is going to be a function of your discernment. And an illiterate fisherman spoke by the Spirit, and he said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. One man was more accurate than the whole generation. This is one of the crises of the body. Many people with many rema, with many revelations, but the church plunges continually into darkness. It's about cloud. There's nothing wrong in having a cloud. The Bible said the glory of the king is in the multitude of the people. But what is the quality of our gathering? What is the ranking of our congregation? We bother little about the things that matter. Those days, they had seasons of party where men gather together and pray for God to walk on their hearts again. Because they knew the only way a man can be honorable before the eyes of the monarch of Zion is the texture of his soul. They say in a great house there are many vessels. Some of gold, of silver, of wood and of earth. He said if a man purges himself, that is when he will be honorable. So we gather people without purging and we think we are honorable because of our size. He said God is not restrained to conquer with many. Neither is he limited to conquer with a few. Number doesn't matter with the spirit because it is wisdom that manipulates the tides of human kind. It is wisdom that determines the civilization of a generation. Manipulations in the heavens are the things that result in what we see on earth. Spirits are not limited by number. Not the great God who created the whole world below. You want to be relevant in this move, you must discern what the Lord is doing. the prophet and the moment of came he began to cry 
the moment John came, John revealed that the strategy the whole generation was applying was wrong. This is not time to recite the Torah. This is not time to be high priest. This is not time to be influential. The guy was a son of a priest, but the Bible said he departed. He was in the wilderness until the day of his showing forth. He knew that growth in that generation was not in the priestly order. He knew that growth in that generation was not in political influence. He knew that growth in that generation had nothing to do with material prosperity. God needed a voice to cry. And the only way that accurate discipleship could be found was at the backside of the desert. So the guy neglected family, he neglected money, he neglected political position, he neglected the office of the high priest, and he went to dwell in the caves, in the rocky soils. And the Bible said he fed on white honey and locusts. He was dressed in camel skin, but it didn't matter. He had designed the move of God. You will look at him and say he's a fool. You are not a wise man. Your father is Zacharias. If you follow him, you become a priest. And at the age of 30, you will have nothing you lack because everything you want will be supplied for you. The guy knew something. Something was coming from heaven. There was a breaking news from Zion and he had resonated with it in time. So the only place to stay was at the backside of the desert. It didn't matter. No doctrine of prosperity could affect John because John knew that the hand of God was coming from Zion. And only a voice could announce it. They came to him and said, who are you? He didn't say, I am the son of Zachariah. Who are you? He didn't say, I am a priest. He said, I am the voice of the one crying in the wilderness. Make a way for the Lord. Discernment of the move of God. Our generation will be without stature. Our generation will be without rank unless we discern the move of God. You know why all your ambitions are ugly? It's because you have not discerned. When you discern correctly, the things you pursue, you will let go of them. That's what it means to be crucified with Christ. Only men that discern the move of God understand the alarms of Zion. There are whispers from heaven in every dispensation, but where are the men that can decode it? He said, the trumpet makes an unusual sound. If the trumpet makes an unusual sound, who will prepare for battle? Only men of discernment. Kados, Kados, you are mighty on your toe. You are, you are chasing fellows. Kados, Kados, you are mighty. is 
no more. Only Mary understood and she came. She said, the wine is out. The wine is out. Jesus said, the time is not yet come. Mary insisted because of the man in heaven. The dimensions of heaven cannot hit the earth. He said, whatever it tells you to do, do it. The wine, the wine is gone. The move of God is gone. We have reduced God to a social gathering. An immoral person comes to church on high heel and on Brazilian wheel. She has fun with worship and she goes back home to attend the club. The wine is out. The wine, the wine, the wine. He talks for 10 years, but you hear nothing that strikes your soul. The wine is out. We are the men that we cry for the next move of God to show. For the next move of God to show. People that love God, they know they love God. They are crying every day, Lord help me. But they are no custodians of earth that can bring God to their table. Even when they pursue God to church, the pastor sends them out of heaven because he has appetites. Appetites for money. So it's all about fundraising. It's all about excellence. It's all about music stars. It's all about comedy. Where is the move of God? A generation must rise. I didn't come to preach. I came to your land to cry. Because of the men cry, the move of God will die. God, oh, you are mighty on your throne. Generation of fleshly people, a generation of people of appetite, a generation. 